and, and finally this week, Libya. It has been three years since Gaddafi fell, so how are things going over there? Well, that really depends on your opinion of pool parties. Personally, I've never been a fan of waddling around with a stomachache in a tepid pool of human filth. But it seems that Libyan rebels would beg to differ. In a country free-falling into chaos, <laughs> Libyan gunmen celebrate. They've just taken an American diplomatic ah. compound, so they take to the swimming pool, a symbolic moment they want the world to see. OK, OK. I have to say, on one hand, the nation of Libya seems to be descending into chaos at the hands of Islamist militias. But on the other hand, that does look like one bomb-ass pool party. <laughs> Bust out the pizza rolls and the two litres of Mountain Dew because Tripoli has fallen, and, gentlemen, it's time to play some Marco fucking Polo. <laughs> Marco! Marco, we're having fun. We're ha this is fun, right? It's supposed to be fun. Clearly, this situation is not ideal, although we may have stumbled on a very useful shorthand for all potential foreign policy fiascos in the future. Look, we better be careful how we leave Afghanistan or it could turn into a total Libyan pool party over there. <laughs> oh, and don't get me started on Ukraine. That's a Libyan pool party waiting to happen. <laughs> oh, and one more thing, guys. How about we take that sarcastic ISIS video down because that thing has the potential to end in the biggest Libyan pool party <laughs> the world has ever seen. <laughs>